first reading from Jeremiah 23, 1-6. Woe, the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who shepherd my people. It is you who have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. So I will attend to you for your evil doings, says the Lord. Then I myself will gather the remnants of my flock out of all the lands where I have driven them. And I will bring them back to their fault, and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will raise up shepherds over them, and who will shepherd them, and they shall not fear any longer. O be dismayed, or shall be missing, says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, and I will raise up for David righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness. In the land, in this days of Judah, we will save, and Israel will live in safety. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is righteousness, word of the Lord, word of life. Thanks be to God. Let us read Psalm 23 responsibly with this side, the left hand side of the congregation reading the light print, and the back side, the pulpit side of the congregation responding with the bold. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures, and leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O Lord, and guide me along right pathways for your name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall come on me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of my Lord. Reading is from Ephesians 2, 11 to 22. Remember that at one time the Gentile by those called the uncircumcision, by those who are called the circumcision, the physical circumcision made by the flesh, human hands. Remember that you were at that time without Christ, being alien from the common world of Israel and strangers to the covenant of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were of far off have been brought near the blood of Christ. For he is our peace in his flesh, he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall. That is, the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with his commandments and ordinance and that he might create in himself one new human place of the two, thus making peace and, and might conceal those groups of to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death the hostility through it. So he came and proclaimed peace to you, who were off, and peace to those who were not, were near. For through him both of us had access in one spirit to the Father, so then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and all the members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as a cornerstone. In him the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are building together, built together, spiritual, into dwelling place to God, for God. Word of God, Word of life. Thank you. Thank you.
Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, Lord. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a deserted place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognized them, and they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. As Jesus went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Genesaret and moored the boat. When they got out of the boat, people at once recognized him and rushed about that whole region and began to bring the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, into villages or cities or farms, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all who touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. It's time for our children's sermon. 